is Aiden's Toy Trouble. I'm here today with the Briar number 1345 Secretariat. A Secretariat by Briar has been released on a couple of different molds. And this is the Smarty Jones mold and my uh, favorite of the Secretariat versions. I'm unboxing him today um, and I finally get to take some pictures of him out of the box which I haven't had a chance to do so very exciting. This is a wonderful wonderful mold uh, very popular in the show ring for those of you that show. At one point, I owned a glossy version of Secretariat, and I very much regret selling him because he was gorgeous, and I wanted myself, and I miss him. But that's okay, because I don't really collect a lot anyway. So, here we have the beautiful Secretariat. Again, this is the Smarty Jones mold. This is a current run, and um, we do have some in stock and available for sale if you're interested. I have steadily been unboxing horses all morning and believe it or not I'm actually getting tired of unboxing horses I usually enjoy it I mean, it's kind of fun right you get to like take the horse out and see um see him up close and in person but I think I've done I don't know maybe six already today and boy I'm ready to be done with this okay but um I'm excited to see this one um this one has loose enough ties in the front that I can just go ahead and clip them with my trusty um, kitty and nail clippers. Uh, if you don't have a pair, uh, I highly recommend you invest in them. Um, it might uh, save you some scratches from your kitty as well as uh, make unboxing these Briar models a heck of a lot easier. And then I always try to uh, put my finger over the end of the zip tie or uh, when I bend it up over the horse so that the metal can't scratch against the horse and possibly cause damage, even though this will be a body. Wow, this is seriously the easiest model that I have deboxed all morning. What a treat. Totally awesome. He's already in his face. He's ready to go. Secretary's like, let's go, guys, let's go. Very beautiful model. He is a uh, shaded, bright chestnut. He has t three socks, three natural col colored hose, and one brown. You can see ah, I, what I thought was a um, rub on his shoulder there, just washed off. Um, so there was just like kind of some dust on him. He has a stripe, and he has a vin on the bottom of his right hind hoof. Guy is really nice. Love this mold. He makes a fun racehorse, a fun quarter horse, um, really fun performance mold for those of you that show performance. He has a, uh, again, a metal rod that goes um, up into his leg and then comes down the bottom and is inserted into a little slit in the stand. So no breaking off pegs on your stand. Very cool. One of the things I wanted to show is if you take a look at this sock here, um, you can kind of see some roughness around here. Now what this is, is um, Briar uses masking on um, their markings. So sometimes if you see this, this unevenness with the paint, um, and I'm hoping that's showing up on camera, you can kind of rub your finger against it and roll it off. So let's see what happens. I can't really see what I'm doing here. Um, And sometimes it comes off really well, and sometimes it doesn't come off so well. So I don't think um, this one would have come fully off, but I'm also trying to do this at an odd angle, so um, I'm not really getting the best, uh, best dexterity that I, I can into um, hit kind of where that groove is in his cannon bones. And um, sometimes you can kind of pick it with your nail and get it to come off, but that part came off nicely. Um, be gentle, you don't want to leave shiny marks. A lot of times, um, another thing that I see um, people, uh, they'll advertise something like, say an American Pharaoh as having no star, and really what it is is that the masking has not been removed, and uh, the masking is painted over, and if you just kind of pick at the masking, um, the masking will come right off and then you'll have a white marking beneath. So that's something to watch for. If you see a roughness around uh, 
a white marking that's likely a masking issue. And again, this guy's a body, so I'm not going to pick too much of this masking, but I thought um, I'd show that to you. Uh, you can also um, clean this up very carefully with uh, an X-Acto knife or a carbide scraper. Uh, it's not a big deal. Okay, so we'll put Secretariat back in his face. And let me see what the box has to say about Secretariat. I know he was a super awesome racehorse, but I'm sure I don't have my facts straight. So let's see what Briar has to say. Oh, Secretariat was the 1973 Triple Crown winner. So you guys remember who the last Triple Crown winner was? Probably. It was American Pharaoh. That was an awesome race. Okay, so Secretariat. If there can be one horse and one race that defines the sport of thoroughbred racing, the horse would be the world-famous Secretariat, and the race would be the 1973 Belmont Stakes. Listed on two Athletes of the Century lists, number 35 on ESPN's list and then the top 10 of the Time Magazine's list, Triple Crown winner Secretariat was a true athlete and champion. The world has yet to see another 31-length Belmont victory like Secretariat's in 1973, and no thoroughbred has yet broken his 1973 Kentucky Derby record of 1 minute 59th second and 2 fifths. Secretariat was the son of bold ruler out of something royal. The large, beautifully conformed chestnut ran in the blue and white checkered hood of Meadow Stables and had a largely successful racing career as well as a few curious failures. But Big Red's dazzling displays of power and speed would rebound and track records would again crumble. His fame bought, brought fame to those around him, including his accomplished trainer, Lucien Lauren, jockey, Ron Turquette, and the Chenery family, who, in a stroke of luck in the breeding arrangement, came home with the little colt secretariat. The big red chestnut colt that made the world take notice will forever remain a part of the thoroughbred lore. He enriched the lives of everyone who chanced to experience the legendary secretariat. And there is a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic movie about secretariat. Um, if you have not seen it, you really need to see it. One of my favorite movies. So that is Briar's number 1345 Secretariat. Thanks for watching.